Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number 33 for Absolute Beginners. And today we're talking about alguno, ninguno, uno, eh, primero, <laughs> tercero, dos. <laughs> okay, and words like that. Okay. And words. <laughs> and words like that. And all the words. All the words in Spanish. And we're talking about. Sí. <laughs> eh, ¿qué tal? Estoy muy bien, Gordon. Estoy estupendamente bien, fantásticamente, eh, de puta madre, todo. Puedes dejar de decir de puta madre porque vale. molesta sí. a la estoy gente muy de bien, América Estoy Latina, fenomenal, estoy estupendamente, estoy requete bien. Requete bien. ¿Cómo estás tú, Gordon? Eso. Estoy, requete ya. bien. Sí, estoy. No, estoy, estoy muy bien, muy bien. Eh, ¿Qué hora es? Son las 10 menos 20 de la noche. Y aún así hace sol. Increíble, ¿no? Sí, oh, ese sol. Sí. <risa> Un sol ya, británico. Me, me estoy bronceando. Sí. Tintia. Eh, está vinculado a Inglaterra. Inglaterra, claro. sol. Y sol, por supuesto. Sí. Porque estamos ya en la primavera, ¿no? Por eso vivo en Inglaterra yo. Uh -huh. Por sí, el sol. Por el sol, sí. Claro. Por eso te mudas a España. Claro. Okay, Cynthia, let's get let's get down to it, okay? Okay. By the way, we're not timing this. Uh, we haven't got a timer, so okay. judge ten minutes, okay? Let's see how how well you do it. Vale. Right. One of the one of the things that we wanted to talk about, and one of the suggestions that we had from our many 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 suggestions we received uh, after I put out the the diary about help. Thank you very much for that. Was the difference between Alguno and uno, okay? Or algunos and unos. So what we thought we could use that and then develop it into other words that have this similar feel. Cynthia, being the Spanish expert, as you, as what you are, okay? <laughs> vale. Um, what's the, what would you say were the principal differences between algunos and unos? Algunos coches, unos coches. Okay. When you first asked me, mm -hmm. I said none. Mm -hmm. I said it's interchangeable. Interchangeable, yeah. Um, for example, if I say, um, algunas personas mm, viven en Inglaterra. Mm -hmm. Unas personas viven en Inglaterra. No hay diferencia. No difference. No. Okay. So some people. It's just saying some, some people. people, yeah. Sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then we did pero, some examples. Yeah. Sí. Pero hicimos unos ejemplos. Mm -hmm. You don't have to speak in Spanish. It's the English one. Oh, because you said pero. I know, I know. No, I were, kicked you off in the Spanish. You so. were trying to say to me, no, I said it in Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, and, well, this is number 33. Maybe I. English, we'll have to do it in English. When okay. We, yeah. If you prefer. If you prefer that I do it in, in Spanish, let me know. Mm -hmm. um, what was I saying? So we looked at some yes. examples, yeah. And in some examples, you can't um, interchange it. Right. So what examples were we talking about? For example, if I say, if somebody says to you, um, "Quiere alguna cosa más?" Mm -hmm. Do you want anything else? Mm -hmm. mm, no es normal quiere una cosa más because that would mean one do you want one, one more thing. thing yeah one more thing mm -hmm. so the, the that and we can look at some more examples that the difference is if for, Eng for English speakers when when we say anything that's when we're going to say alguna cosa for example um, because al algunas personas unas personas that's some that's some in, in English. Yes. So it's different to when we say any, yeah? Any person or anything. Mm -hmm. So for example, yes. would, you, would you say, for example, if you're asking people, is there any person that speaks English here? Hay alguien aquí que hable inglés. Oh, okay, so there's not any, you wouldn't use alguna. Okay, hay alguna persona aquí que hable inglés. Mm -hmm. So, could you interchange that with una persona? No, because that would mean, uh, I would say, hay una persona, mm, 
no it would be like more specific to one person. So if I say alguna persona, any. It throws it out to uh -huh. any, yeah. Anybody would say. There could be two, there could be three. Yeah. Anybody be speak English here. Yeah. That's kind of where, mm. where it, it throws it out to you. Yeah? Si. So you have to be careful with the, when you, when you want to say some, yes, you can change algunos, except I learned to my mistake because Cynthia corrected me in a very, very strict way, as she always does. <laughs> <laughs> I scratched you here. <laughs> scratched me, I shaved badly today. Um, with a new blade, you can't say alguna gente. No. Okay? Why can you not say that? Because you can't. Punto. Okay. Alguna gente, no. Algunas personas. Yeah. O, um, algunas personas. Oh, well, yeah. So if you if you want to say some people, go for the personas. Algunas personas. Don't go for alguna gente as I used to do. It sounded lovely to me, but it was wrong. No, yeah. I suppose because gente is already like a group. Yeah. So you can't you can't make a group split, of a group. Split, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can't say alguna alguna gente. Mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. You would have to yeah. make it personas. It, I can imagine like a group of people, like unlimited, and then mm -hmm. just no, grab no. a few and I make a bunch of them. Okay. Algunas personas. Mm -hmm. Gente is already like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, nice description. I've got the people now. Can you move okay. them out of the way, please? I can't <laughs> see the camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're only Spanish. You can see. <laughs> you see over their heads. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> um, not always. So, other thing, moving on from, from that, looking at the alguno uno, and of, all of this will be in the help sheets clearly. Yes, of course. Um, the other thing that's important to, to know with words like alguno, ninguno, yeah, is that when you do them, only the masculine, when it goes, when it's bolted onto a, um, ver, a, a noun, I should say, who you want to say, um, you want to say some man, mm -hmm. okay? Some man. So you 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 can't say uno hombre. No. It's it, it's not. You you must drop the o off, and it sí. becomes un hombre. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, even if you want to say one man, all right? Because we wouldn't it, say one. We would say a man. A man. A. We wouldn't say yeah. one. One man. In English, so we could say. Yes, no, in English, English, yes. It was this one guy. Yes, yeah. but in Spanish, we wouldn't say one man. We say a man. A man. Yeah. So you must. It's it's. And this is a rule that falls across so many words in Spanish. Where where yeah, it's only with the. Oh, whose phone is that? Sorry. I, we'll okay, just, you keep we'll talking. We'll just cut that out. We'll cut that out. We never. We never do. <laughs> you always say that. Oh well. And I everything is there. Okay. Yeah. Perfecto. Muy bien. Right, so, un hombre, no, uno hombre. The no. same if you're going to go to Spain and you order a coffee. You don't say uno café. No? Un, un café. café. E coffee. Right, well, the same applies with things like alguno. So you have to say algún hombre, not alguno hombre. It doesn't apply to, to fe feminine words, no problem. Or no. Uh -huh. masculine plural, feminine, feminine plural. It's Fine. only masculine singular. Yeah. Alguna mujer, no hay problema. Yeah? Algunas mujeres, algunos hombres. It's just alguno. Yeah? And yeah. Um, same with ningún and ninguno. The same, same apply. Yeah? So you've got to say ningún hombre, ningún animal, ningún uh, perro, ningún foco. Ninguna cosa. I'm going to bring the, the conversation of focus. Okay. <laughs> so, other things that there were just little interesting things that really don't have a, a, a rhyme or reason linked to this. First, second, and third. Yes. All right. So first, how do you say first? Primero. Second. Segundo. Third. Tercero. Okay. But if you're going to say the first man, the second man, and the third man, how do you do it? El primer hombre. Dropping the O. Primer hombre. El segundo hombre. Keeping the O there. El tercer hombre. Dropping the O. So it's only with the first and third that you have to drop the O, which is bizarre, isn't it? The yeah. second one's fine. fine. You can say segund. The segund, no. 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 Sounds a bit French for some reason. That's where you said it. Perhaps you should start there. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> sí. So. 
that's just something out of interest. And then Cynthia I just brought up something else that was interesting, which really is not, not linked, but it's interesting to say about the days of the week, making them plural. Oh, yes, they did, yes. Um, yeah. I realised that we only make plural Saturday and Sunday. Because hmm. um, we would say los, you know that we're the days of the week. We don't say en lunes. Lots of people make that mistake. We say the Monday, not on Monday. The Monday we say. So it would be el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, and so on. But for plural, we would say los lunes, so lunes as it is, mm -hmm. los martes, los miércoles, los jueves, los viernes, so the same. And then we would say los sábados, sábados with an extra S, mm -hmm. and los domingos, extra S. But no extra ES. For the rest of so the week. So we don't say los luneses, no. los marteses, no. No. So interesting, Just, right? Just plural on the sábados, domingos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay, so just in resume. In resume, now it's, I'm going to learn that and I'm going to say it that doesn't to people. Exist, in no. resume. I don't even know whether it, if it exists. Um, so just to, sum to, to sum it up, yeah? Yes, <laughs> so we've got the difference between unos and algunos. When you're using them as some, no difference. But as soon as you get into an any, then that's going to be your algún, alguno, sí. yeah? alguna, whatever. Yeah? Because ninguno is not any. Not any. And yeah. there, are, there are some sentences that are, are a bit weird, I think, to translate into English. Because you could say in Spanish, no tengo ningún coche by the way even if you use ninguno which is negative you still need to use the no because we have the double negative, double negative yeah. so no at the beginning and then ninguno no tengo ningún coche dropping the o o no tengo coche alguno now that is strange that, is that caught me on the hop that because i was saying no tengo coche ninguno thinking well, hey listen to my spanish and it's not Mm. No tengo coche alguno, o no tengo ningún coche. So. No tengo ningún problema, no tengo problema alguno. Mm. So that's great to know, because it was 15 years after I started learning Spanish that I recognized that. And that's not in books. I haven't seen that in any book that we have. Mm. Well, apart from the, the and yeah, deep the, the, grammar books, then the yes, gra but yeah. not the... Uh, but the, the translation's the same, really, isn't yes. it? Yes. I don't have any car. I don't have any car. Yeah. No, I don't have any car. I don't have any car, yeah. I, I think for once car. we have two translations and you only have one. Really? Because usually it's the other, the other way around, around, yeah. don't. Mm -hmm. So uh, just run through that one more time. So the options are... No tengo... For, um, no tengo... Give me something. I don't have any, um, uh, I don't have any cake, pastel, this one. No tengo ninguna tarta. Pastel. Pastel. Ningún. What do I have to say? Okay. Just pastel to show, drop in the oven. I want to just see the yeah. No tengo ningún pastel. No tengo pastel alguno. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But so at least the know now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know now as well. That's important. <laughs> okay, excellent. India, muchísimas gracias. Yo creo que sí, hemos llegado bien. a 10 minutos, ¿no? Sí. Um, entonces, gracias. gracias. Nos vemos en... Oh, no, perdón. Nos vemos en el próximo, entonces. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.